Hi and welcome to this episode of Bailey's in Wild. It's the seventh episode of our boat restoration series and the second episode in our quest to fill the deck, seal the deck. Last episode we tried to fiberglass but the weather basically told us no. It started raining very heavily so we had to save that for another day. Hopefully that day is today because the weather is semi-decent. So we'll hopefully be able to do that today. The majority of this week we've spent at home sanding, filling and painting the boat hook and the handrails that we took home in the last episode. Um, the boat hook has a place now on deck so that'll just be able to slot in really nicely and the handrails, I'll go into a bit more detail in a minute, but the handrails are going to need a whole bunch of work doing to them before, to the get them on the deck, I mean. Um, but yeah, we'll show you the clips of what we've been up to this week. When we come back from showing you that footage, we are going to be cleaning off the residue that's on deck. Um, the tape from last time left quite a lot of residue on there, so we're going to have to try and take that off. We've got a be better scrubbing brush, so hopefully that's easier on my fingers. Um, we need to be fiberglassing the holes. That needs to definitely happen. The sun keeps coming out in intervals, so hopefully it shouldn't be too much of a problem and we won't have to worry about rain. So we'll be able to get that done today. We need to fiberglass the old holes from where the, not boat hook, from where the handrails were before because we had to essentially fill in the old, um, oh god what's the word I'm looking for, um, oh god. Yeah, we had to fill in all the screw holes and things like that because they were pretty much rusted and things like that. All the bolts were rusted. So we had to replace those. Um, so they'll need new holes, but we'll have to fill in and fiberglass the old ones as well. And then we'll need to fit said rails as well on deck. Um, and then we need to, I'm going to attempt to talk about the door a little bit as well, because that's one of the major things we need doing on deck. We need to sort a new door out. Also, with the semi-decent weather, we should be able to glue the tow rail down as well. Um, and then all we need to do after that, not today, is paint the tow rail and then the tow rail is done and sorted. So we should be able to get that done today as well. So that's the plan. Um, I'm quite optimistic considering the weather. Let's get on with it. We'll show you the clips. Oh, as well, before the clip runs, I forgot um, the aerial wire and the navigation lights up on the mast. They the wires for them, they're rooted through the deck in front of the mast, but they're not sealed properly. So we're going to have to take those out and tape them up. Um, eventually, we're going to have to get some scan strut grommets as well to make sure that they're rooted through properly. Uh, but for now, they need sealing up and sorting out. So that's what we're also doing today. <laughs> now roll the clips. <laughs> Driving by the fields I used to run through Where you were chasing me We were riding out on river bleachers No one could see Oh, sweet memories Of a town I loved but Oh, changed when you left I keep on asking myself in Try to settle my restless soul Got a job that felt like forever when I met you You made me happy with dance through the night Life was music and I was your wife Time flies and the years went by Still I tried Oh, sweet memories of a town I loved by Oh 
Right, we are at the boat now. Sorry if you can't see my face, my glasses tint automatically in sunlight and I like to have my hair pulled back with a cap on. It makes it easier to work on things. Anyway, we're back at the boat. Um, obviously, you've just watched um, clips of me sanding and filling and painting uh, handrails and boat hook. They will be going on in a minute. The pole will be easy slot into the brackets we fitted last episode. The handrails are going to require, uh, yeah, the handrails are going to require us to take the tape off and get rid of the residue that's underneath because the tape leaves some awful residue that we're going to need to get rid of. We need to fill in the old holes with fiberglass and re-drill some new holes. And then they need marine sealing and fitting onto the boat then in a second actually we're going to sort out this tow rail um because we remember to bring wood glue this time and it's not raining so we're going to do that in a second that'll be done there was another thing i wanted to mention that's right the i am going to whinge about the deck again <laughs> there's so many tree seeds on the deck every single time we come i know i've mentioned this several videos in a row now I've whinged about it a lot but it's annoying every single time we turn up to the boat it's like we're back at square one because we've got to just dealing with water would be fine that would be fine we can deal with that having to deal with all of the leaves and all of the debris and God, God, there's so much that we need to get rid of it's like every single time we come we factor in all of the jobs that we need to do and we make sure we've got enough time for them. Um, but we've got to, every single time we come, we've got to factor in, right, we need to make sure we clean the deck off again. That's annoying. <laughs> it would be so much easier to just be able to come to the boat and everything just be clean and sorted so we can get to each job that we need to do. It would be quicker, it would be less stressful, definitely. But, yeah, there's so much of the stuff. I have just cleaned the deck I've, I've brushed all of the stuff off and there's already more things on the deck <laughs> i can't get rid of them i'm fighting a losing battle with trees it's like snow i mean i can see it now i can see it falling it's like snow it's awful <sighs> but we have been talking about in a couple episodes i think about the possibility of getting the boat moved we have just had confirmation now that there's a possibility that it will be moved in the next day or so, hopefully. So that'll be great because we don't even want it moving that far. We just want it like over there, <laughs> away from the trees. That'd be fine because as soon as winter hits, autumn even, as soon as autumn hits, all the leaves are going to fall off the trees and it's going to be so much worse. And we really don't want to be where we are for that. So just over there, away from all the trees where all of these tiny seedlings can't affect it would be brilliant so yeah 
that's the situation that's what we're doing today but right now we need to get on with the fiberglassing we need to get on with drilling and we need to get on with um getting rid of all of this awful congealed gunk that the tape leaves behind that'll be probably be the first thing Streaming, so pardon the noise I hope you can hear me but we were just lining this up while we were brushing everything off and the ideally if one of them fits we'll drill out one of them wider if one of them fits we need the other ones to be as far away as possible so that one would be ideal if the first one yeah if the front one fit that would be about a finger away that's about two fingers away but that's too close to the spray hood for my liking so if the center one fits that's about a finger away that's about half a finger away although that could be technically positioned there but then that wouldn't line up so you have this one fitting then two fingers away half a fingerish away and that would look better i think yeah we've had to turn them around as well because this side here was the back um, but this bit obviously we sawed them off and it's not fluid so that turned around and then that looks much better like that so that's going to be the same on both sides this just lining this up <laughs> it's gonna look so good i'm really proud of these handles they're gonna look so good 
and with the boat hook that's white as well, which we haven't shown you yet, but with the boat hook that's white, it will fulfill the goal really that we didn't want to get them uh, mixed up with one another because our worst nightmare, because these are just here, um, they're obviously not very strong. Um, <laughs> sneaky boat hook. <laughs> boat hook with what is white, so if that was there, that lined up there, this, trying not to scratch this, but I mean, it's going to get scratched eventually at some point, isn't it? Uh, that in there, that in there, that in there like that, yeah, I've scratched it. That's unfortunate, but that there, and then handles there. It's very, very clear which one you should be grabbing onto if you need it. It's looking so good. This is where the deck being covered in trees becomes frustrating because this is going to look so good but we're going to have the letdown of coming to it next time covered in stuff regardless of whether it's been moved the next time we come to it or not it's going to be covered in stuff hopefully for the last time not be covered in stuff but yeah i'm really excited this is going to look really really good <laughs> Leaving all my worries, I prepare for something new Whatever it was that held me back, I'm sure it wasn't true Holding on too long and on these questions hold you down What could have been a friendly smile has turned into a frown I'm moving on Changes around me On and on I feel I must Whatever happened to me Happened for my highest good I read that in so many books Now it's almost understood I'm moving on If you're looking to begin, then look no further than within I'm satisfied with what I've got and still eager for more The change that you've been looking for will come knock on your door On and on On We're losing light. I'm gonna try and get this done as quickly as possible. It's about eight o'clock. Like I said, we're losing light pretty quickly, but we've got done most of the jobs we wanted to get to today. I, done today even. I think we sorted the tow rail, tow rail out. My brain is moving faster than my mouth will move. The tow rail is sorted and gluing. That's fixed and, and working. There's a bunch of clamps on it and stuff, but it's, for all intents and purposes glued um, the boats the holes that are in the boat the deck have been fiberglassed up that's all sorted and fixed now um, the handrails have been bolted on and marine sealed up they're all done and the boat hook is probably the easiest job of the day 
has been put into its rightful place on the deck. Um, all the residue from the tape as well has been cleaned off, so that's all sorted. What's left to do on deck now is there's a list. I'm going to read from it for a second. We've got to sort the door out. We need a new one that will be able to handle the weather, um, the intense weather changes in North Wales and especially on the coast. So we've got to sort the door out. That's one of the big jobs. We need to um, replace the cleat on the front of the deck. That's one of the easiest jobs. It'll be a case of buying it, measuring it and fitting it. That's literally it. Um, we need to patch up the holds that are in the anchor locker. Um, I'm unsure of how, of how hard that job will be but it is one of the big jobs that need doing because it's a huge hole. <laughs> I can fit my hand through it. It's a very big, very bad hole. Um, we need to fit scan strut grommets onto the front of the mast, um, in front of the mast, sorry, not on the mast, because um, of navigation wires and I think it was, oh, what was the other wire? Aerial wire, it was an aerial wire. Um, so those need sorting out because they're leaking as well. Um, we need to paint the tow rail. Now that it's glued, we need to paint it. Well, after it's glued, we need to paint it, but we'll need to paint the tow rail. And we need to sort out the hatch seal. The hatch seal should be a pretty easy job. It's a case of making sure we've got the right one and fitting it. <laughs> so that's pretty easy. Um, we, yeah, the quest to seal the deck mini series that we've got going on at the minute we hoped to fit it all in three episodes we want it to all fit nicely into three little episodes but i mean we'll have to see if that's the case or not we seem to be on track so hopefully it was suggested to us in our last video as well by a commenter that we should store away the sail and the splash hood um we, we agree in part, but we don't intend for Firefly to be on the hard for very long. <laughs> for very long. I'm shivering and it's messing up what I'm saying. We don't intend on Firefly being on the hard for very long. So the splash hood should hopefully get cleaned and cleaned up. I tried to do it in the last episode and it cleaned up pretty well we didn't record it but it's cleaned up brilliantly and if i can get the rest of it done it'll be spick and span um as for the sale um it should be a case of making sure that it's okay and there's no holes and there's no tears and it's in working order and then we'll fasten it up and we'll put it back nicely and we want to get a cover for it as well so that shouldn't be too much of an issue as soon as we can afford it we will get that sorted as well um but yeah i th think that's the end of this episode boat moved that's true it's not the end of the episode <laughs> also something we've managed to do is we've managed to essentially partly drop the rudder We've undone the bolts from the bottom of it, so hopefully when the boat is moved, hopefully tomorrow, um, that should just come straight out and we'll be able to sort that out and fix it. And uh, I'm looking forward to the boat being moved, honestly. I'm really looking forward to the boat being moved. As soon as the boat's moved, we'll be able to come back to the boat, clean it up and it'll stay clean. <laughs> Except for a bit of water that we can brush off it'll stay clean and we'll be able to come to the boat and fix what needs to be fixed without having to revert back to square one constantly. So I'm looking forward to that. And yeah, <laughs> sorting the rudder out honestly felt exhilarating, I suppose is the word I'm looking for. We, it feels like we're finally onto the big jobs, the big jobs that have been plaguing the back of our minds for ages and yeah it's feeling doable <laughs> i'm really looking forward to it so oh i'm really cold so like and subscribe and leave a comment because we love replying to you guys and advice if you have it we love listening to your opinions and honestly the amount of advice we've had is incredible we've implemented so much of it um there's flies all over the place so like subscribe 
Um, ring the little bell as well so you're notified of every upload because we are on a two week schedule now. And yeah, thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>